A-Rabbers carry fresh vegetables and fruits around the city on horse-drawn carts. My grandfather's been doing it all his life. He's 80-something years old now. I've been doing it all my life, and it's been around 50, maybe 100 years before me. In Baltimore, you got markets around, but you got to have a vehicle to get to them. It's going to cost them to get there, cost them to get back. So it's beneficial to a lot of people for the a rappers to be on the streets. Y'all have a go. Every morning, pull my wagon out. I get all the fruit together and design it up, make it look nice. And then I take the horse and put him in the wagon. I start on my day. You mostly call out what you got on your wagon. We don't use an apple, banana, peaches, also. When you come up and you see an elderly person just waiting at the door for you to come through and they give you their little list, that's a wonderful feeling. But they depend on us, and we try to be there for them. A rabbits for life, baby. A rabbits for life. The kids, they love the horse. And I want them to be able to see that selling drugs ain't the only way to make money. This is what keep me out of trouble. This is what feed my family. This is what put food on the table, pay the bills, pay the gas. This is one of the, the oldest things in in the city that's still going right now. This is history. When I was a little kid, it was nothing for me to turn the corner and see an A-Rapper, one right behind another sometimes. If we don't get a lot of people behind us and expose the A-Rapper business, it might eventually die out. But my dream is to see it last forever, till the day I shut my eyes for good.